Hi everyone, Kimberly here from Smart Kids Educational Club coming to you today with part two of our hacks for online learning. So stay tuned as we jump into these five hacks for a successful online learning. So online learning takes place over the internet. It can be either virtual via video conferencing or online via an LMS like Google Classroom or Edmodo. Your new online classes are most likely going to be split using both platforms. In today's video, we're going to focus on classwork that is sent via LMS or learning management systems like Google Classroom or Teams. Now using LMS has some benefits, right? So there are some benefits of online classwork. You can learn at your own pace. You can go over the material as many times as you want and that's always a plus and you don't have to get up at a particular time. So the first hack we have is to collaborate. So I think it's really important that we form study groups while doing online learning because this will help us not only to study, especially if we're falling behind, but it will also help us to maintain contact with our friends. One thing that we have heard a lot of kids say is that they miss uh, talking to their friends and being able to see their friends. Now if you form an online study group via Zoom or whatever app you want or you can even do it via WhatsApp, you get to come together at a certain time and you get to study and you get to see your friends. So it's a win-win. Our next hack is to use the resources that your teachers provide. Now. I know a lot of teachers, they're posting most of their work on Google Classroom and you can go and access it and do your assignment and that will be it for class. But some teachers actually post other work that you can access and go onto different sites and research the work that they would have given you. So it's like an extra reading that they give you to do and I really um, encourage you to use those resources because they are going to help you further understand a concept or a point that the teacher is trying to teach you on that particular day. So use the resources they give you and you should even try to get your own if what they give you is not enough. Next we have keep your deadlines in check. Now even when we're in school, it's really hard for us to remember when an assignment is due. So it's going to be extra hard trying to remember that date when your teacher is not constantly telling you, guys, don't forget you have an assignment due next week. Don't forget you have an assignment due next month. Right. So it's going to be a little harder remembering that you have uh, deadlines coming up without your teacher constantly telling you in class. So what you should do is create a board that you have and you can easily put in your deadline dates, set reminders on your computer, set reminders on your cell phone, telling you that a deadline is coming up and you need to submit your assignments. It's gonna be really easy to fall behind in your assignments if you don't keep track of them. So you don't want at the end of the school term you're having to complete five assignments. Whereas if you had done one or two per month in the school term, you would have just had one at the end of the term. So it's really important to keep those dates in check if you cannot remember them. Just keep asking your teachers, hey miss or sir, when is the next assignment due? When do you need me to submit this assignment for? When do you need part of the assignment? So you can make a schedule of your own to keep yourself. Our next hack is to have a designated study spot. Now it's really, really important, and I know I say this a lot, but it's important to remember that we are still in school and we still need to study because we are gonna get exams at the end of the school term. Our promotion is on the line and we need to remember the stuff that our teachers give us on a daily basis. So you need to be studying all the content that they would be putting on Google Classroom or on WhatsApp or even in your Zoom classes. So find a spot, make sure there are no distractions, no cell phones, no computers uh, that is connected to the internet. If you have your notes, that is fine, but make sure you have no electronics that's going to be distracting you from your work. So I would advise to write your notes down so that you don't use your laptop to get distracted with the internet. And tip number five is get help if you are falling behind. 
Now your teacher may not notice uh, or pick up that you are falling behind in a virtual classroom or in a Google classroom or WhatsApp class. So you need to actively let them know that you do not understand the concept and if they can uh, go it over and show you or send you some other resources that you can follow up and learn more on the concept so be sure to let them know that you are not understanding and if you need and that you need the extra help um, you may also have a hard time adjusting to the new way of learning so let them know if you're having issues uh, logging into your Google Meets or not understanding how it works they would be more than happy to help you with it so do not give up if you're getting issues in your classes this term be sure to get help from your teacher if you find that it wasn't enough help from your teacher be sure to ask your friends that collab point is really important collaborate with your friends start a study group get the work done and you'll be great and that's it for our five hacks part two guys remember to collaborate with your friends to form study groups use the resources that your teachers provide they are very helpful keep your deadlines in check put notifications on your cell phones or your computers whatever you need to do have a designated study area because studying is important and finally get help if you are falling behind your teacher is there to help you so be sure to share this video with your friends guys and thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye